Doctors in Dallas are celebrating the birth of the first baby in the United States born to a mother with a transplanted uterus. CBS 4's Nikki Batiste has more in tonight's Health Watch. Baylor University released a video of the birth of the first U.S. baby born to a mother who had a uterus transplant. Doctors delivered the boy in a scheduled C-section. When you see this boy, you really feel like you've done something beautiful. There was something about this that was so special. Just mm. Sorry, I'm an emotional person. <laughs> Uh, there was something so exciting about this because the patients are so excited. The mother who wishes to maintain her privacy has absolute uterine factor infertility or AUFI which affects one in every 500 women. She underwent the transplant more than a year ago. As young women 14, 16 years of age they're told that they never have a chance of having their own babies and, and carrying those babies. and. Uh, and this is, this is providing those women hope. Doctors said the womb came from a living donor who does not know the patient. They said they had to keep a close eye on the mother during the entire pregnancy. Every sniffle she had, every time she fell, I mean, we were just panicked that something was going to happen to the pregnancy. And so it, it was difficult just because of the intensity of this. Doctors are currently monitoring the baby and say he is breathing and eating well. The family released a statement saying they hope their son can serve as an inspiration to those struggling with infertility. In New York, Nikki Batiste, CBS4 News. Doctors will remove the transplanted uterus after the first or second pregnancy because the mother can't stay on anti-rejection drugs indefinitely. The world's first baby born from a transplanted uterus was delivered in Sweden in 2014.